Hey folks, Engineer775, guess what I got? Another new battery. So uh, another battery to review, to tell you about. This is a new partner. Well, since January of 2025, they became a partner with Solark, and this is a great match for a Solark 15K. So I'm about to install this, but I wanted to talk to you about it, do a little, we unboxed it, obviously put it together. And it is a modular battery, 5.12 kilowatt hours. Um, I like that. There's several things I like about this battery. Uh, I've talked to them at a, at a, a recent um, Zona Energy conference and quizzed them on all the details. What I like about it, form factor, size, it is 10 inches deep. So that's less than our wiring troughs and even the Solark 15K that I'm attaching this to. This and the Solark are UL9540. So they've already been through their ESS storage certification. So again, they are partners with Solark. Solark put that out a few months ago. Uh, they're very reasonable battery. And we're going to actually install this on a Solark 15K tomorrow uh, or the next day after that. And then we'll finish this up. So again, what I like, they're modular, so you're not killing yourself with 300 pound batteries on a wall. <laughs> and um, it's a very, I think it's a very good looking battery for once. If you're into the aesthetic of what your battery looks like, awesome. They are IP65 rated, so they, you can put this outside. They have heated modules, so that's an advantage. Um, again, the, a lot of competition in this space. So everybody's kind of heading towards the same thing, having a heated battery, having IP65, um, having it partnered with a Solark inverter. And so they've checked all those boxes. This is the Renin Extreme LV for low voltage uh, in, in uh, battery. You can go up to eight modules now. They started out with six, but you can actually put eight modules, which will put you up here, all your um, your home runs are coming out from this side so color wise aesthetics i like it it's kind of outlined it looks really nice and you're not breaking your back to install the thing so that's another uh good thing from an installation standpoint and then if it's out in a garage or um it's not going to take up any it's not going to sit come out where you have to put bollards in hopefully uh, to protect it because it's not going to stick out farther than the inverter itself so we're going to install this it's i'm going to install this at a site that's pretty close to me so i'll be able to use it or to kind of cleared it with the the customer um that we're going to kind of use his place as a, our, our test bed for it because um i'm local he's local it's close to us and so look forward to testing this we're actually installing it indoors with a 15k and we're installing it in a way uh, to deal with the demand charge of the local utility. We're not even putting solar on this site. So that's another caveat we've been asked, like, how do I deal with this time of use rate? How do I uh, lower my power bill? This demand charge is killing me. This is a solution. This is a very reasonable battery. Uh, you can look it up in the description, the link to it, the cost, and it's very scalable. You can obviously scale it left to right. You can go up to eight batteries. We're going to be putting four modules on a 15K that'll allow the 15K to perform extremely well. He might need more storage. But I think that's going to be enough to zero out his demand charge with his utility. And that's what he's after. Okay. So the next step will be, let's put this baby in and get it running. Okay. Here's the setup with the Solar 15K and the Renin Extreme Series LV battery. And um, just turn that on for you. So the battery will go through a few checks and it will recognize how many batteries are in the stack. And it just did that. It shows four. It only shows three more slots, but it, it, you, they've just approved the stack for eight. So you can put eight of the modules on a random stack. Got several ways to attach it to the floor, to the wall. And we will do that. And we did fire it up. We haven't finished our AC wiring, so I'm not going to turn this back on at this point. But we did build the plant, and we're ready to ready to go. We'll wrap this up next week. We didn't get as far as we wanted to, but I did want to show you. It's a, it really is an attractive battery if, as far as batteries go. It looks really nice and nice outline to it. It's a good, great match for the Solar 15K. And uh, I forgot how many kilowatt hours you can put on this thing. 
but it did close loop automatically. It worked fantastic, so we didn't have to do anything special. So there you have it, the Renin Extreme Series LV. All right, it'll be running next week. And again, there's no solar on the site. We are gonna give him a generator inlet plug, and that will allow him to charge his batteries, run some loads, and he's got solar. We just haven't figured out how to do it here. It's kind of in an HOA. He might have some challenges. Um, and it's a difficult solar site for ground mounting. But he's definitely not wanting to put it on the roof. So he's got about 20 panels. That'll get him started and get this thing charging. So, so far so good. Let me know what you think. All right, if you need any help installing, designing, you need some components, this is Engineer 775 signing out.